entrar. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hi, Tere. Hello. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome to a new year, Tere. Happy New Year. Happy new recipes. <laughs> new cooking classes. Excited. Everything. I know. How are you guys? Been a, a while now. Yes, we're going to wait one more minute. Okay. I'm so excited to be here with you. We're going to give um, all our friends a few more minutes today. So yeah. they As always, I'm super excited to be here with you guys today. I am too. It's an awesome day. Well, everybody, welcome. Um, today is a very fun class because all us moms are so busy and we're always looking for some good food and some hacks. And who better than the queen of hacks, Auril, to That's give us a great class today. And with that, Auril, I'll hand it over to you. See, I'm so happy to be here, guys. And today we are going to make some tacos placeros. Tacos Placeros, it is a uh, Chilango tradition. So this dish uh, originated in Mexico City. No one knows exactly when it started to be a popular thing. People said that around 1949, um, and it, it has a lot of, um, you know, people say that, no, it started here or it started there, but the main, um, uh, story about Tacos Placeros is that when people that work in the stores and restaurants um, ended their shift at night, they had all these leftovers from all the food they were serving. And so they grab it, everything and make this just super amazing, yummy um, taco, which ideally needs to have a few in ingredients to make it a classic taco placer. So if you guys don't know about Tacos Placeros, I'm going to teach you today how to build a perfect taco placer. So for that, we are going to need three main ingredients, well, four main ingredients. The first one, it has to be some sort of meat. For that, I chose carnitas. Obviously, I got all my ingredients from Norgate Market Gonzalez. And so here you can see I have one pound of maciza de puerco. And la maciza is the um, uh, loin of the meat, of the pork, right? And it's the, the part of the pork that has less um, fat. And usually in Norgate, they serve it in like big chunks. And so what I did this time is ask the worker there to kind of chop it a lot to get me this um, shredded meat almost. So this is going to be very easy to handle for my taquitos. And then I got here los cueritos, la nana, el buche. This is the yummiest part of it, las carnitas. And I bet you've tried it. They always serve it next to the maciza. And this is basically the placenta, the skin, um, the neck of the, of the pork. And it's so yummy. This as well was like um, cut in little tiny pieces by my friends from Norway. Second most important ingredient, and I think this is the main ingredient of tacos placeros, you have to add some chicharron. And I chose the chicharron botanero from Norway. I'm gonna tell you why, because this chicharron is a little bit um, thicker, but it has a lot of fat, and that fat is so yummy for tacos. So just break it a little bit and that's it. Then what another ingredient we're gonna um, be using today, the nopales. That's another super main ingredient of tacos placeros. Uh, queso fresco and salsa de aguacate. This one is my ultimate favorite. You Can you see it, Tere? Because the light is reflecting, right? There you go. There you go. You can this, see it. 
agua salsa, salsa cate. <laughs> it has so many names, but it's basically a green salsa mixed up with some sort of guacamole. And so it's a salsa made up out of aguacate. Okay, those are the super main ingredients, but I also chose to um, build up my tacos placeros with some beans. And these are my personal favorite as well. Those are the pickled onions from Nordic Market. And we're gonna use some lime juice. Now, one of the fun parts of this um, cooking class today is that we're gonna get to make our own tortillas. I got some uh, regular masa here and we're gonna make our tortillas because we want them to be kind of thick, thicker than the usual tortilla so it can hold all of these ingredients that we're gonna uh, build up, okay? But first, before we start, we need to quench our thirst. So we're gonna be preparing Tere today and this is so exciting. E -e -e. We are going to make a mezcalita of uh, spicy piña in Ensenada, one of my favorite places that I love to go and eat over there, they call this drink uh, piña oaxaqueña because it has mezcal instead of tequila. So it's not a margarita, it's a mezcalita. And the name will refers to the pineapple and also um, the place where mezcal uh, originated, which is Oaxaca. So let's start with that, Tere. How about? For that, we are going to use, first of all, some... Um, uh, this is chopped piña or pineapple. Uh, we also need, obviously, some mezcal. We are going to be using some orange. We need crushed peppers and powdered chile, chile powder. We also need triple sec or um, orange liquor. Some agave uh, nectar. And tajin for the rim and also uh, mineral water or a variation of this recipe is pineapple juice. I The recipe originally um, calls for some uh, mineral water because I wanted to make it kind of light because I know right now we are in January, February and we are have all these uh, New Year's resolutions of eat better food and kind of healthy and to balance it because this is a bomb. So, but if you really like spicy and sweet drinks, you can use pineapple juice. And finally, we're gonna garnish and look at these guys. I um, dried these oranges and they're so cute. And we're gonna use these dried oranges to garnish our drink. You can dehydrate these oranges in your air fryer. Usually it comes with the setting to do that. And you can dehydrate basically any fruit and it uh, works perfect for garnishes and decorations of your meals. Okay, let's start. First of all, oh, also we're gonna need this mud, oh, sorry about that. This muddler, some ice and our um, shaker. So I'm gonna bring some ice to my shaker about one cup. <laughs> that lamp gone in my way. Also guys, remember if you have any questions at all, you can type them in the bubble chat, and chat bubble, sorry. And uh, Tere here will be more than uh, happy to address them to me. Oh no, wait guys, sorry. No, we don't start with the ice. We start with the pineapple. And this is about two cups of pineapple. This will make two drinks. So I'm gonna take half of what I have here. So about one cup of pineapple. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just squeeze everything in because what I wanna do is create like a puree of some sort. I'm gonna make space here so you can see better. So just like squeeze, 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 squeeze. We want to break all the fibers of the pineapple. You know, pineapple can be kind of fibery. <laughs> so you want to go through and you you need to get one good uh, muddler like this one. Mine is so awesome. Like it will go through anything. Also, you can blend it in a blender if you don't want to go through this step.
Okay, it's looking good. Any questions so far, Tere? No, not yet. Perfect. So then we're gonna add about one to two, and this is depending on you guys. Like I like my drinks. If they're gonna be spicy, then they're gonna be spicy. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna add two, and then one of two of uh, the crushed peppers, and then one of um, the pepper, the chili powder. Now the crushed peppers, uh, I recommend you use chile de árbol. Okay, that's my favorite dry pepper of all times. Okay. Great, this is looking so amazing. So now I'm gonna squeeze the juice of half a, um, an orange here, and you can have it pre-squeezed before can. I just like it when it's like freshly squeezed in the moment. There you go. Okay, and now we're adding our syrups or um, and also our alcohol. So first, I'm gonna add, and this also depends on how much do you like, how sweet do you want it. I'm gonna add one ounce of agave. You can add, add two. Then one ounce of the orange liquor. Oh my gosh, my mouth is watering already. And then the main ingredient. Yummy. So it's from one to two ounces. And it also depends on how strong do you want it. So there you go. Model it around a little bit longer. And then Pepe, what we're gonna do now, now we're, we're adding the ice. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And we shake. And usually we know it's ready when your um, shaker is super chill. Perfect. Okay, so next step, what are we gonna do? I'm gonna get some tajin and place it in a bowl. And this is for the rim. There we go. And I'm also going to add some of the uh, pepper flakes, chile flakes, to give it like an extra nice twist. We grab the same orange that we used before. We squeeze it around like this, around the rim. And then we dip it. And for this drink, I use the cantarito because I really like, like everything pineapple or orange, I like in a cantarito. But it's nice to have it in a clear glass as well because you can see the pepper um, flakes, the chile flakes in your drink and that's super cute. There we go. I think you forgot the agua mineral. Oh, no, no, wait. That's oh. okay. So what I'm going to do is do this because since it has a little bit of pulp, and I don't have the other thing that will kind of, you know, there's some sort of equipment that yes. will the, the pulp, but I don't have it. So I'm just going to do Aha, that one. It's a weird looking piece of metal. <laughs> have it. Okay, so there we go. And then, so we have here our boozy, boozy mix. And then I'm gonna add a little bit 
just like a tiny chorrito, just to give it more flavor. And then what we're gonna do is top it up with mineral water. Wow. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. it's overflowing. Oh man, tan bonito que se veía. Okay, that's for drinking faster, Teddy. Oh. Es que se nos antojó. Ya sé. Mm. Oh my gosh. Okay, finally, guys. You can either put it on a side like this. Also, I have some sliced uh, jalapeños or chile serrano here. No, pues ese, if that drink is really going to hurt your stomach. <laughs> <laughs> it's a spicy, very spicy, um, spicy piña, spicy, spicy piña, piña chilosita. Okay, but you know what, Tere? It's so good. And I bet. It's very funny because I really don't drink spicy drinks, but when I do, I like them to be like, like a michelada, for example, it has to be super spicy. Not, I don't like it like mid spice. So this one, I really love and enjoy whenever I go to Ensenada. Mm. And it has a lot of flavor and it has, it's fruity, but spicy, so, okay. Guys, are you ready for the next step? Yes. Let's do it. Okay. Any questions about the drinks? Nope. Okay. Let's move forward then because we have like a lot going on today. Woo! It is spicy. Okay. So I'm going to show you guys how I make my tortillas whenever my husband is like, quiero tortillas hechas a mano. I don't know why guys love tortillas hechas a mano, either uh, harina or uh, maize, but they love them. And so sometimes I am like nice and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go grab a bag of regular masa Norgate and I'll do the following. So here I have my comal and it's already been preheated. And then I'm making little bolitas, como esta. And I'm gonna say it's like an inch diameter, bolitas, probably a little bit less. How many should we do today, Teddy? Let's do three. And while we do this, let me tell you the first time I tried tacos placeros, I was like, what is this? It didn't make sense to me, but it's something that I learned to love. So my, um, my husband, grandma, she's from Puebla. And so she has this, all this set of uh, recipes from there. So, so good. And so one time I remember I was visiting with my husband. I was just like a newlywed. And so uh, they said, we're gonna make tacos placeros. And I was like, oh, sounds good. Let's see what this is about. And so they gather in the table and it was a big deal. It was like, we're gonna make tacos placeros. Like, bring it was like you know how in Mexico we gather around food right it's like el día del pavo or the day of the rosca de reyes <laughs> so that time was like today's gonna be taco placero day so bring your bring your drinks and get ready pónganse bonitas and I was like okay this must be like a great great recipe and so we gather in the table and it was all these ingredients like I'm gonna show you a little bit later today but the main ingredient was chicharron. So they were basically tacos de chicharron with toppings. And I was like, uh, but what else? <laughs> what else is missing? And no, and they were like, no, this is it. Tacos de chicharron, those are the tacos placeros. And so at first I was like, um, well, yeah, like, I mean, they're good, but I need like more. But then when we started traveling and I went to Mexico City, okay, Tiempo, guys, before I continue. So for this step, we need a prensa, a tortilla press like this one. And we also, the most convenient thing to use to make our tortillas is a Ziploc bag. This is what I've found out 
along my years. I just cut it on the sides like this. You can leave the bottom open. And, or you can even cut um, the other side, this one. I usually just leave it like that. And so this is gonna be like the protection between the, the masa and the press. So the masa don't, won't stick on the press. Okay, so where was I with my story, Teddy? You went to Mexico City and- oh, Yeah, and then we tried the tacos placeros there. And it's a big thing over there. It's like people, there's stands of tacos placeros but they, they give it to you with carnitas or uh, cueritos and a lot of stuff. So I was like, oh no, it makes sense now. So now I'm a huge fan. Okay, guys, so we get one of our bolitas. We give it a little help. La planamos poquito así, like a little um, arepita, if you will. And then we close it. We close the, the, the bag. We leave some space and we press, but we don't go all the way in, okay? Just a little bit and then we check. We can kind of turn it around because at least my press will leave it uneven. Like this is flatter than this other side. So I kind of go around making sure it's equally pressed on all sides. And then we, we have our tortillas. Now we have to be very, very careful because sometimes it can break. And that's it. I'm gonna make another one while we wait for this one. And this meal, guys, is so good for um, gatherings, like for example, the Super Bowl, because you can leave all the ingredients there and then everyone can just like um, create their own taco, the version that they will choose. Some who like it with cheese, some of them with no other ingredients, but it's up to them. So I really recommend Tacos Placeros as an option for gathering food. Are you excited about the Super Bowl, Teddy? Mina, I'm not the biggest football fan. Yeah. But to the fiesta, yeah, yeah, I am them. That's what I like. I never even pay attention to what's going on in the screen. Only when uh, the halftime. Uh, comes then I'm like the the I remember the halftime with Shakira and J Lo. Oh my gosh! Plus this one, they say it's gonna have all us older ladies dancing with Snoop Dogg and Eminem. But I, I, I cried when I saw the preview. I literally cried. I was like, oh my gosh! I, brought me back to my high school years and it was so cool. Okay, so you guys have any questions before we move forward? Oh. Oh. Ah. Te lo well, I, I'm in the business of salsa, Tere. <laughs> <laughs> okay so guys look i just flip it and i want to show you that the masa just changed color and it started to create this um like a uh, rough skin like even it's kind of like um um elephant kind of skin that's how how i see it like a little rough and with little bubbles and then they start kind of um, uh, expanding las burbujitas se hinchan and that's when you know it's cooking on the other side 
And you need to make sure that you move it when it's when it's ready, because if not, se puede pegar. There's nothing like the flavor of a homemade tortilla. I don't know what is it about a freshly made tortilla, but it makes the, all the difference. Yes, it does. Okay. So this one is almost ready and I'm gonna show you how to build our taco placero. Vamos a darle un minutito más. I like to kind of squeeze them into the comal. When you do that, they start bubbling. Mi abuelita agarraba una toallita y estaba. Con la toallita. I use my bare hands. <laughs> <laughs> I was making um, uh, sopes today for our coming um, class. I have a class, guys, on... Friday, next Friday, not tomorrow, but a week from now, from tomorrow. And it's sopes and we're gonna make sopes from scratch as well. So you know in the part when you have the sope and it's super hot and you have to kind of mold the edges uh -huh. with my hands. <laughs> I'm a radical today. Okay, there we go. Vamos a dejar aquí otro ratito esta. This one, this side of my comal is the one that it's not as powerful, oh. but I'm gonna turn it around like this. See what I did there? So, and we're gonna build this one. So we have our tortilla here. I cannot get too close because the light won't show you guys, but aquí está nuestra tortilla y es gordita. It's, it's like, it's thicker. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some beans on one side and then like a good taquero because today I'm your taquero and I'm gonna grab the meat with my hands porque si no que chiste. A little bit of maciza, a little bit of cueritos and then, but this is not too much because we wanna make room for the main ingredient which is el chicharrón, obviously. And then we want to add some of the cheese. No, first I'm gonna add the nopales. This is another main ingredient. It won't be the same if you don't, you don't add the nopales. Then I'm gonna add the cheese. This is also a must, like this. So it's almost like a sope, but in a taco, but in a tortilla, I don't know. And then I'm going to add out some of the pickled onions. Yummy. Oh, these onions are the best, Tere. I love them so much. And finally, I am going to go all in with the salsa. And esta salsa is so good because it has like the guacamole, but also the green salsa is like dos por uno. I'm gonna squeeze some lime juice. There we go. And let's get in, dig in, Tere. Provechito. Taco placero, guys, for you. Mm -mm. Mmm, mm -mm. mm. you guys, it's so good. Simple, but good. It's Mexican talent food. You know what I mean? <laughs> Who knew that you can gather all this food and make a taco and it will be amazing. Mmm. Thank you so much, Abril, for sharing such a delicious recipe with us today. And so easy, in menos de media hora, a drink and tacos, OMG. 
If you go and buy all the ingredients in Norgate, then you will have it set. It's only making the tortillas, which Norgate already provides the masa, so it's not a big deal. And you will impress your guests and you will eat so delicious food. So now you know. Thank you. Thank well, you thank you, everybody. Me. Please go on our website. We have a lot more classes next week. So as we gear up for the Super Bowl, y mucho provechito, Abril, y hasta pronto. Bye.